tired of peace and quiet and the normal nine to five. Drop by and meet the family. We're in constant overdrive. We rock, we swing. But what would do better than anything is rock. It's our claim to fame. Rock. It's our middle name. Rock. Life is never tame when you know how to roar. What you learn to do is there's nothing to it. Jump back and cross your fingers when the bird begins to fly. We get a little rowdy way before the ink is dry. We rock, we swing. What would you better than anything is roar? It's our claim to fame. Roar. It's our middle name. Roar. Life is never tame when you know how to roar. Taxi's here. Coming. Excuse me, Daddy, but I can't see the TV. Leo, you're a star. And more importantly, you're my son. You cannot go to the airport in a taxi. Jennings! You called, sir? Uh, yes. I want you to drive my son and his wife to the airport in the limo. Uh, very good, sir. Oh, 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 oh my oh, oh, What? Oh, what? Watch out. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'll have you there in no time, sir. Oh. Uh, thanks anyway, but we'll take a taxi. Come on, Lana, honey, we'll miss our flight. I changed my mind, Leo. I don't want to take this trip. You go without me. You want me to go on our second honeymoon by myself? I'll pack you some extra books to read. Lana, I know you're nervous about leaving the kids, but they'll be fine with Dad. They'll have such a good time. <laughs> they'll forget they even have a mother. That's what I'm afraid of. Don't be silly. Of course they'll miss us. Right, kids? <laughs> right, kids? What did the robot just say? I don't know. I couldn't hear because of Dad. Yeah, I can see they're real upset about us going. Hey, kids, stay tuned for seven more hours of Robot Bunny! Yeah! <gasps> Take me to Hawaii! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I haven't seen this episode. We're never gonna get out of this cave alive. Do you always have to be so negative? Only when we're trapped half a mile underground in a cave full of nuclear waste and bats. Ooh, get away! Get away! Get away! Get away. Get away. Where's Trudy? Gotta find a nicer place to play. Ever heard of a park? Why can't we watch the last hour of Robot Bunny? That bunny's had six hours to rid the world of evil. Face it, Spence, he's not gonna do it. <laughs> now stay out here and get some exercise. Why do grown ups always want kids to go out and exercise? So we won't bother them while they lay around and watch talk shows and eat junk food. I want to be a grown-up. That's the worst part. You don't get to be a grown-up till you're too old to enjoy it. What was that? I don't know. It's coming from the new guy's backyard. Kyle says the new guy only leaves his house at night and he always wears black. Where did Kyle hear that? From Billy's older brother, who's in eighth grade, so it must be true. I don't know about that, Spencer.
But it is kind of strange we've never seen him. And you know what else? <laughs> Billy's brother said the new guy always carries this big, weird-shaped box when he goes out at night. What's so strange about that? It's shaped like a coffin. <gasps> Are you saying there's a vampire living behind us? Well, technically, he's not living. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Next, you'll be telling me he wants to suck our blood. What is that? It sounds like some kind of really big insect. Remember that book Dad read us on the Amazon jungle? With the gigantic mosquitoes that could suck all your blood in one bite? What's wrong, children? Don't let the umpire get me, Grandpa Leo. What umpire? She means vampire. Oh, of course, a vampire. What vampire? The one who lives behind us with the giant mosquitoes that can suck all your blood in one bite. Outside. Leah's right. You have to be a real dork to believe in giant mosquitoes. Lana, call a doctor. I just got bitten by a giant mosquito. Ow! Oh. Not now, Leo. I'm calling the children. Hello, Dad. It's Lana. How's everything at home? I'm not kidding, Lana. This is one of those giant Amazon mosquitoes I, I read about with the kids. Shh, I'm talking to your dad. They thought they heard what? I can't feel my feet. Hmm. Giant mosquitoes. Where do they get those imaginations? Hmm, can't imagine. It was it, well, it, it, monster. It was not. This is no fun. Let's play football. Okay. Go inside and get the football, Judy. Oh, okay. Oh, and bring me something to eat, too. Okay. When do you think she'll catch on she's our slave? <laughs> you didn't catch on until you were five. Uh, uh, hey! <gasps> football! Mm. swimming huh I'm ready we're going to the pool not the jungle you can't be too careful yes you can all the insects are bigger here Lana look look that fly is the size of a bird it is a bird Leo oh well it's very big for a bird take that ridiculous hat off right now <laughs> All right. Leo, there are no giant bugs here. And no snow. Take off the ski mask. It happens to be for the sun. You know how easily I burn. I, 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 I'll, I'll, all right. That's better. Now, do you think we can go out and start enjoying ourselves? Yes. <laughs> Let the good times roll. Right after I call the children. You just called them 20 minutes ago. A lot can happen in 20 minutes. Well, you don't worry. If anything happens, they'll go to Grandpa. The last thing we 
want to do is ask Grandpa Leo for help. He'll tell Dad for sure. Then how are we going to get Dad's ball back? We'll just have to go there and ask for it. Bad idea. Vampires don't like it when you wake them up before dark. We have no proof he's a vampire. That's just a rumor. He's up early. <laughs> Where'd you learn how to dive like that? Well, I used to dive off a 50-foot platform into a tub of water when I was in the circus. <gasps> the circus! Oh, how exciting! <laughs> Why did you leave? I fell in love and got married. That's my husband over there. Get away from me, you mutant insect! Get out of Oh, one more. Come on, come on. Oh, sorry. I... Oh. No, uh, that's my husband over there. Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> One of us has to get Dad's ball back. No way am I going over there. I'll go to the umpire's house. Great! See you later. <laughs> What's wrong with you? We can't send a three-year-old to a vampire's house by herself. I'm four. You're too young, Judy. <sighs> I'll go. Great! See you later. <laughs> You're going with me. I'm sorry. I'm. Uh, are you all right? No, oh, I, I, I think so. Hey, aren't you the MGM lion? Well, yes, I am. You look different in person. Well, maybe it's the spaghetti and meatballs dripping down my face. I heard that's not really you roaring. Wait, uh, what? I heard it's a recording of some circus line because your roar is too weak. <laughs> uh, that is uh, completely and utterly untrue. Wh uh, where did you hear that? From a neighbor's dentist whose cousin knew someone who once worked at MGM, so it must be true. That's just a nasty rumor. There is nothing wrong with my roar. Oh, that's not what I heard. Mm -hmm. What a roar! Hubba hubba! Mm -hmm. Actually, he's my husband. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is not a normal yard. Maybe he's just a really bad gardener. Or a really good vampire. I'm getting out of here. You know, you're starting to stretch out my collar. Come on, we've got to find the football. I'll go this way and you go that way. Oh, my God. 
happened, Spencer? I just tripped over this stupid football! Good work, Spence. Now let's get out of here. Now look what you've done to my shoe! What was that? It came from the yard. Let's go see. Guess it must have been Boris. Hey, where'd that football come from? <laughs> Looks like Boris has himself a new hobby. <laughs> to Leo, our favorite lion. Wonder who Leo is. <laughs> Must be one desperate cat to play football with a dead guy, huh? Come on, let's put it in the garbage. I want to show you my killer beetles. Killer beetles. <laughs> Sounds dangerous, huh? <laughs> Oh, they'll really knock you out, but you can't tell anyone where I'm hiding them. It's top secret. Hey, you know I'd never betray a fellow a vampire. <laughs> a zoo lion roaring for Leo Lionheart never. Calm down, Leo. Well, look at me, Lana. Do I look like I have a weak roar? <laughs> this isn't the best time to ask. I, I'm, I've got to make sure he stopped spreading that room. I'm, I'm going back to the pool. You're not allowed near the pool anymore. Let's take a nice walk on the beach. Forget about the silly rumor. <sighs> it's so beautiful here. I may never want to leave. Is this the same woman who couldn't go ten minutes without calling the kids? No, she's back in the hotel room with that guy who thought the giant bugs were after him. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the kids are having as nice a time as we are. Me too. Wonder what they're doing. I bet Dad's telling them that sweet bedtime story about the furry little kitten. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right, okay. Let's say vampires do exist. They wouldn't be out tonight because it's not a full moon. That's right. There's no full moon. Children, I've heard enough of this nonsense. Now up we go, and I'll tell you a nice story about a furry little kitten. Spence, are you awake? I, I hope not. Get up. We're going to get the football. Not again. Don't worry. I've got a plan. We're sneaking into a vampire's yard when there's a full moon and I'm not supposed to worry? It's the only night to go. It's the one night we know he won't be coming home. Hurry up and get dressed. What about the killer beetles? I didn't say the plan was perfect. I'm beginning to have second thoughts about this. I don't think we should push into anything! <gasps> Come on! Let go! You're choking me! If I let go, do you promise not to run away? Yes! <clears throat> Spencer! You promise not to run away! I'm not running! I'm skipping! No, you don't! What's that? My Mindy Parker Girl Detective Lock Picking Kit. Why can't you play with Barbie dolls like other girls? Wait, I can't break into someone's garage. It's against the law. That's right! Now let's go home. <laughs> On the other hand, if the door was already unlocked, it wouldn't be breaking in. <sighs> okay, let's find the football and get out as fast as we can. What about the giant mosquitoes and the killer beetles? Bug spray! If it doesn't work, we get our money back. Not that we'll be around to spend it. Whoa! believe what happens to us next week on Lionhearts. Okay, give me the flashlight. Don't tell me you forgot the flashlight. Mom and Dad will be back from Hawaii in three hours. I seem to be stuck. Yo! <laughs> Remember,
Bunker. Watch out for the killer beetles. Ooh, sounds delightful. Not to worry. Just, just having a look around. We gotta talk to you, Grandpa Leo. We lost something of yours. Jennings. If that's not you scratching my leg, it must be... Right. I better arm myself. Everything's under control. Okay, I'm going into the garage. You okay? Ooh. <laughs>